drivers out there. You know that you could cancel a ride at any time if you feel unsafe. But there's one thing that you cannot do. Hey everyone, my name is Chris and welcome to the Rideshare Guy. Now we have really sad news coming from this weekend where a Lyft driver had canceled a ride on people and kicked them out. The problem is they did it on the highway. So let's go over this story real quick and then let's talk about the do's and don'ts when it comes to having to end a ride early because a driver may feel unsafe or whatever reason is going on within the car and you need to end the ride there. So here's the story I'm gonna share with you real quick. Uh, a Lyft passenger died early Saturday after the rideshare driver kicked him and his five friends out on Delaware's coastal highway over an argument and an oncoming car struck him. So the incident happened around 1.44 in the morning after the 43-year-old male victim and his friends hired a Lyft driver to pick them up from Dewey Beach to their residence in Bethany Beach. While driving on the southbound Coast Highway, a disagreement occurred between the group and the Lyft operator, according to the police. The Lyft operator terminated the ride and stopped in the middle of the southbound left lane and demanded all six passengers exit the vehicle, the police said. Now I'm going to stop that right there. That is something that you never, ever, ever do as a Lyft or Uber driver. If you have to cancel the ride and something happens on a highway, you do not pull over on the highway to drop them off because if something happens, you will be liable 100% because you are the cause of that. Now this Lyft driver is gonna be in some serious doo-doo. All right, let's wrap up the story real quick and then let's go to the do's and don'ts of when you're completing a ride with a passenger or passengers and also if you have to stop a ride early. We'll go over those in just a moment. As the fares exit the vehicle, authorities said a 2016 Toyota Corolla was traveling southbound toward the stopped lift vehicle, attempted to change lanes to avoid striking the rear of the car. However, police said the 27-year-old driver failed to see the pedestrian who was standing in the roadway after just exiting the right rear passenger seat and struck him. The other five passengers were not injured. The Corolla immediately pulled over while the Lyft vehicle, possibly a white Honda Pilot, fled the scene following the crash, according to police. Now, the passenger was pronounced dead at the scene, and again, a very tragic story, and something that should have never, ever happened, no matter what. So let's get to the do's and don'ts when, well, dropping off passengers, whether it is completing the trip, or if you have to stop the ride early. And again, if you feel uncomfortable in any way, shape, or form, if something happens, we don't know what the argument was in this particular case, what had happened, but you don't drop people off in the middle of a highway because something like this can happen, and this Lyft driver is going to be, like I said, in some serious doo-doo when they get caught, not only for fleeing the scene of a crime, but also the fact that you kicked people out on the highway, which is not a safe thing to do in any way, shape or form, and somebody had died because of it. Now, if you have to cancel a ride for whatever reason and you're traveling on a highway, do not stop on the highway and kick your passengers out. You want to go to the next exit and then pull over into a safe, well-lit area, like a gas station or a restaurant, which most of the time there usually is some sort of restaurant or gas station when you get off the highway. So now that is the correct procedure in the event that you have to cancel a ride with riders and you're traveling on a highway. But now let's talk about the do's and don'ts when it comes to dropping off passengers or even ending the ride early on a normal road or not on a highway. And that is just pull over to the side of the road and drop them off wherever they're going. So if this is an actual completion of the ride and you are going to pull over, pull all the way over to the side of the road and let them get out on the side that there's a sidewalk. Don't try to let them get out where the road is because somebody could be traveling and not see them. So that is something where it's going to be real safe, where you want to make sure that they have enough room to get out wherever the sidewalk is. Because usually in America, it's going to be on the right side, on the passenger side. But if you're on one way, it might be on the left side. Now, if you're traveling to a destination and have to kick out riders, again, the best thing to do if there is a safe well-lit area right around 
pull in there and then kick them out. In the event that you just pull them over on the side of the road, again, pull over to the side of the road and make sure they get out safely there on that. Not only that, make sure you have a dash cam that is recording every single thing going on. So the entire interaction of what had happened, the argument, whatever it was, and then you telling them go the safe route to make sure they get out safely. That's all going to be recorded and that's going to help you in the event, unfortunately, something does happen. But the best thing is always be safe for yourself and be safe for your passengers. All right, so what other recommendations do you have in the event that you have to kick out riders? How do you handle it? What's your best go-to? Comment below and let us know. Now, if you're wondering what is the best times to go out and drive rideshare like Uber and Lyft, check out this video right here. And also, if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe and ring the bell for notifications so you'll be notified when new videos come out and when we go live. Drive safe, everyone.